talk about the, the season and I guess uh, the, the opportunity that's been presented to you with you know Richard Eckersley gone, uh, Bradley Orr uh, not fit, and are, are you making the most of your minutes? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, coming into the season, um, having proved myself last season, um, I was excited to kind of get a full uh, preseason under my belt, get fit. Obviously, I got hurt a little bit as well as Bradley did. Um, so, but I was able to recover quickly and get fit and. Yeah, I'm trying to make the most of the minutes I get, you know, um, trying to win my spot as, it, as everyone is, you know. It's going to be tough this year. Is it a challenge knowing that uh, he's waiting right behind you if, there, if you either get a knock or maybe have an off game that, uh, that he's in and you're out? Does that really motivate you to, to stay on top of things? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a challenge, you know. A great player playing be behind you, you know, you always got to be on your toes and you always got to perform. But um, it's great motivation as well, you know. He's going to push me. I'm going to push him. So it's very good for the team. You guys are defending well uh, as a whole. Uh, talk about playing uh, with uh, you know Michael Bradley in front of you and the type of player you've seen in uh, in the first two games. Yeah, I think our defense has been incredible. Um, we've stayed uh, very tight together as a team, as a unit. Um, Michael Bradley has just been incredible. You see him picking up loose balls in and out, you know, everywhere. Um, but having Stephen Caldwell and uh, Daniel Henry back there has been um, a huge help as well. They've been cleaning up everything. Oh, he's an incredible leader. I mean, as you can probably tell, he does all the dirty work. You know, Defoe is extremely clinical in front of the goal, and he, you know, he gets the goals and a lot of the glory. Um, and credit to him, but Michael Bradley is the guy behind the scenes working and uh, just kind of holding the team together. You know, he's that glue and he's that leader on and off the field. Can you yeah. see him kind of grabbing the hearts of, you know, some of the Torontonians that have grabbed on to people in the past of, of gritty players yet skilled players? Oh, absolutely. I mean, he's the kind of player that you want to get behind. I mean, he's always going to work hard for you. I mean, if he's not having a good game, which he really, you know, doesn't have, um, he's going to put in that work. So everyone's going to get behind him and everyone's going to love him. Mark, the way the league is structured, uh, some players get paid a lot of money and a lot of other players don't get paid quite a lot of money. You're a young guy, so you're just yeah. working your way up. You would think that there could be the possibility that when you got a couple of big name people in, if you didn't get the right ones, it could cause havoc in the dressing room. But it seems from everything we've heard so far that this dressing room gets on really well and that the uh, the stars aren't exactly big time Charlies. Can you, can you say what it's like in that dressing room? Yeah, absolutely. Everyone's friends in there. No one... No one big times anyone. No one thinks they're better than anyone just because of a paycheck. You know, we keep business to the club and we, um, we keep playing to ourselves. So everyone's equal on the pitch, and so that's how we keep them in the dressing room.